In the annals of history, one name stands as a haunting reminder of the exploitation and objectification endured by indigenous people during the era of European colonialism. Sarah Bartman, known as the Hottentot Venus, embarked on a tragic journey from her native South Africa to 19th century Europe. Born as Sahura, she grew up in the Eastern Cape, only to find herself exhibited as a freak show attraction. Her unique stetopegic body, characterized by prominent buttocks, fascinated and titillated European audiences. This video explores the 10 most fascinating and heart-wrenching facts about Sarah Bartman's life, shedding light on the complex and troubling history of her exploitation. Sarah Bartman, a life of tragedy and exploitation. Sarah Bartman was a Kotkoi woman who was exhibited as a freak show attraction in 19th century Europe under the name Hottentot Venus. The term Hottentot was the colonial era term for the indigenous Kotkoi people of the southwestern area of Africa. The women were exhibited for their stethopegic body type uncommon in Western Europe. This body was perceived as a subject of scientific interest as well as of erotic projection. Bartman was born to a Kotkoi family in the Eastern Cape of South Africa. While her birth name is unknown, her surname has been spelled Bartman and Bartman. Her mother died when she was an infant and her father was later killed by Bushmen while driving cattle. She was born and raised in South Africa. Later on in life, Sarah Bartman met surgeon Alexander Dunlop. He gave her the idea of moving to Europe and making money by exhibiting herself. Sarah, therefore, traveled to Europe in 1810. Her story is quite interesting. Here are the top 10 fascinating facts about Sarah Bartman. A name and heritage lost. Sarah Bartman, or Sarji, as she was often referred to, was named Sahura at birth by her Khoisan parents. She was born around 1789 and belonged to the cattle herding Ghanakwasab group, who resided in the Gamtus Valley in the eastern Cape of South Africa. Bartman was renamed Sarchi, a diminutive form of Sarah in Dutch when she was sold into slavery to a trader named Peter Willem Caesar. Sarah's marriage. By her teenage years, Bartman married a Korkoi man who was a drummer. They had a child together who died shortly after birth. When Bartman was 16, her husband was murdered by Dutch colonists. Soon after, she was sold into slavery to a trader named Peter Willem Caesar who took her to Cape Town where she became a domestic slave to his brother, Hendrik. On October 29, 1810, although she could not read, 21-year-old Bortman supposedly signed a contract with William Dunlop, a physician who was a friend of the Cesar brothers. A life shaped by colonialism. Sarah grew up on a colonial farm near Hankey, where it is believed she worked as a servant after losing both her parents during her adolescent years at just 16 years old. Dutch colonialists seeking to expand their empire came into conflict with the indigenous Khoisan people in the Eastern Cape, and many became absorbed into the Dutch labor system. Sarah became the property of Caesar, who set the future tragic timeline of her life. The Path to Exploitation William Dunlop introduced to Sarah the idea of exhibiting herself. Sarah moved to Cape Town, where indigenous African women were considered abnormal, inferior, and exotically desirable to white Europeans. With her honey brown skin and exotic features that included her large and protruding buttocks, Sarah found herself the focus of curious attention. Her distinctly non-European look with whispers of sexual intrigue caught the eye of surgeon William Dunlop, who made a deal with Caesar to take over ownership of Sarah. William told Sarah she would make money by displaying herself. Exploitation in London Sarah Bartman was exhibited in London. Dunlop put Sarah on display in London as a primitive and extraordinary phenomenon. Her half-naked body was exhibited to anyone who was willing to pay the one shilling admittance fee. For a higher price, the more affluent in society could touch her. Her large buttocks, in particular, were a point of interest. London fashion at the time emphasized women's derriers with extravagant bows and frilly bustles. Sarah's buttocks were grotesquely inspected and secretly craved. A tragic journey to France. While London was friendly because of the laws, France was unsympathetic to Sarah. She was sold to an animal handler. Here her exploitation and degradation intensified as she was led around and given instruction like an animal. 
her female organs were studied as an object of macabre interest and sexual peculiarity. It is also believed that during this time she fell or was forced into prostitution and became a heavy drinker. Tragic Demise Sarah Bartman died at the age of 26 from an inflammatory disease that was believed to be related to syphilis, alcoholism, smallpox, or pneumonia. Sadly, her freak show display continued macabrely after her death. Although Cuvier did not perform an autopsy on Sarah, he did make a plaster cast of her body before dissecting it. A grisly display. Her body parts remained on display even after her death. After Cuvia had dissected Sarah's body, he pickled her brain and genitalia and placed them in jars on display at the Musée de la Homme in Paris. There they remained for over a century until 1974, as proof of Cuvia's theory of racial evolution. Her organs, genitalia, and buttocks were thought to be evidence of her sexual primitivism and intellectual equality with that of an orangutan. Homecoming and Rest Sarah's remains were later taken to her homeland. Following South Africa's first free and democratic elections, then-President Nelson Mandela requested that Sarah's remains be returned to the country for burial. After much legal wrangling and debates within the French National Assembly, France acceded to the request on March 6, 2002. Sarah's remains were repatriated to her homeland in the Gamtus Valley two months later. She was buried on August 9, 2002, over 200 years after her birth. Symbol of Exploitation and Racism Sarah's life brought to life the colonial exploitation and racism. Sarah is the first documented Khoisan to arrive in Europe and although much of her story has been lost, over the years she has come to be seen as the epitome of colonial exploitation, racism, and commodification of black people. Several books have been published about her treatment and cultural significance. With author Natasha Gordon Chipember, she has become the landscape upon which multiple narratives of exploitation and suffering within black womanhood have been enacted. Yet amid all this, the woman remains invisible. The Legal Battle and Allegations While in England, a group called the African Association came to know of her and filed the court case to set her free. This happened just a few years after the passing of the Slave Trade Act of 1807. However, Sarah denied all the allegations against her owners and stated that she came to England by her own free will. She further claimed that she wasn't getting sexually abused or mistreated and that she was content with the way she was being treated. Her story remains an intriguing and tragic chapter in history. Conclusion The life of Sarah Bartman, the Hottentot Venus, is a harrowing testament to the exploitation and dehumanization endured by indigenous people during the era of European colonialism. Her story continues to serve as a stark reminder of the profound injustices inflicted upon those who were deemed different by the standards of their oppressors. Sarah Bartman's story remains a poignant symbol of the injustices suffered by countless individuals during a dark chapter in history. Her life has become a testament to the resilience of those who endured unimaginable hardships. We hope you found these facts about Sarah Bartman both enlightening and thought-provoking. Sarah Bartman's story is a heart-rending chapter in the history of colonialism, racism, and the dehumanization of indigenous peoples. It is a story that should never be forgotten, serving as a powerful testament to the enduring impact of this dark period in human history. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more engaging historical content and don't forget to like and share to spread awareness about the important stories that have shaped our world. Together, we can ensure that the legacy of individuals like Sarah Bartman is never forgotten. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of history's most captivating tales.